my fellow felines, this is Kitty Cat Plays the Yarn here, and welcome to another speed build. And today in this speed build, we are continuing the A to Z build challenge by the uh, YouTuber, Twitch streamer, formerly known as uh, Green Screen YT. She recently changed her name to MG, I believe. E M G E E. Hold on, let me see. Uh, I follow her on Twitter. Yeah, it's E M M G E E Y T on Twitter um, and she's the one that kind of created this challenge and I assume with that she did change her YouTube name as well um, and yeah I will try to remember to link her stuff down below uh, but if not that's her at on Twitter is E-M-M-G-E-E-Y-T um, and I started this because well I initially started this challenge because uh, to kind of just help me open no what's the i guess to like get me out of my comfort zone um because for a i actually ended up doing a um an a frame and that got me out of my comfort zone so much and i loved how it turned out and that's how this turned out as well um it's not necessarily out of my comfort zone but i do really enjoy how it turned out and if any of you want to download this house, feel free to go ahead and download it on the hashtag kittycatpwy or my origin ID, which is uh, kittycatpwyarn. And um, it might be a little, it shouldn't be too far down. Um, it is named B for Bohemian or B is for Bohemian. So uh, it shouldn't be that hard to find. And in this house, I did use a handful of things from the show live edit objects and the um and debug or, or mostly show live edit i guess um i use like lots of landscaping and stuff from that and there are lots of cuts in this video but uh it took me a while to figure out some of these things like uh i cut out a lot of me scrolling through those menus and uh you noticed i cut out like roofing and figuring out what i'm gonna use um, for like siding and stuff because that was a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, I just cut out a lot of it because this took me like two hours, I think, two and a half hours. Um, and a lot of it was just scrolling through and it was really frustrating scrolling through everything. So I figured you all didn't want to see that. And if you notice, there are going, uh, well, probably it will be a lot of stops in this voiceover. Um, it's because, uh, my body hates me. Um, I've been like, I've had a cough, sore throat, wheezing uh, for a few days now and it's really frustrating. So if you hear me like keep stopping the voiceover, um, that's why. And I'm not happy about it because I don't like being sick, but I don't think I'm as sick as my boyfriend was because he was sick like, I don't know, a few weeks ago. And, um, he was, like, really sick, like, he, he lost his voice, like, fully and everything. And I'm pretty sure that's what I have, like, he gave me whatever he had. But at the same time, I'm not sure, because I haven't, like, fully lost my voice, but it's just, like, really croaky and stuff. So I'm not 100% sure, but, uh, this is kind of how his started out. So I guess we will see. Luckily for me, though, I do have most of my videos, at least for the rest of this month, at least planned out, um, and I know what I'm going to be doing, and um, most of them are scheduled already, honestly. Uh, I have two more to schedule, I believe, and then the rest of the stuff for this month is done. Actually, three, counting this one. But um, I'm actually pretty happy with how I've been keeping up with YouTube so far this year. And I've just been uh, overall doing pretty well when it comes to like my goals and stuff for this year. I've already finished a book, so I'm proud of myself for that. And I know like, oh, 20 days in, uh, today's the 20th, so I'm 20 days into the new year. Um, and like, ooh, 20 days in, you finished a book, huh? It took you 20 days to read a book. Um, and that doesn't sound like a lot, but I've only been reading like a chapter a day, so I feel that I'm doing well. And there were also a few days where I just didn't read at all because like I don't have motivation or whatever, so yeah. And I've been doing yoga, which um, hurts. 
well, it hurt in the beginning, but um, I'm doing pretty well, I think. I've been doing it pretty much every day. And uh, just some other, like, little random stuff. Like, I've been drinking more tea, uh, which is an odd one, but I don't know. I feel like tea is, like, kind of healthy, right? I've been told. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but I've been told it is. Um, also, on a completely different topic of cuts, um, I did cut out the entire bathroom as well. Uh, because, like I said, this this was very long and... Um, I feel like a lot of people don't really care about seeing bathrooms, so I cut that out. Um, there's nothing too special about it. It's very colorful. This entire house is colorful. When I think boho, I think colorful. So that's kind of the reasoning behind that. So how are you guys doing on any like goals or resolutions you made for the new year? Um, since I talked about mine, I might as well ask about yours. Um, are we excited about Tiny Living? Uh, today, the well, day I'm recording this, is the day before it comes out. And I'm excited for it, but I'm not going to be able to get it for a little while. Um, like, all of the build stuff looks really cute, and I like the different tiers. Um, how do we feel about it now, though, that we've had it for a little bit? Um, if you have it, at least. Let me know what you think about it. Because I want to know if it's worth buying or not. I mean, ob. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm the type of person that buys every stuff, every pack, um, or tries to get every pack because I, I, I don't know, I guess it's because I'm a completionist, I guess, but, um, I have pretty much all the packs now. Um, I don't have Discover University or Island Living yet, um, but but that's because I don't have a job and money and whatever. Um, but like when I had a job, like I'm pretty sure I overdrew my account at one point because I bought a pack and I didn't realize it until after the fact. And I was like, well, I have the pack, so I guess everything's okay. And it obviously wasn't okay, but I had the pack, so it was. Big fat surprise. Jen did the thing where she went on her phone uh, it was supposed to be for like a minute, but ended up being like five. So I completely forgot what I was talking. Oh no, how I'm a completionist with The Sims, that's what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, only for The Sims 4 though. Um, I I have quite a few packs for The Sims 3, but I don't have all of them, which honestly I don't really care about because I don't play The Sims 3 for many reasons, but mostly because it's laggy. Um, and you may have seen me a second ago in the living room. I was trying to find a, a frame that would fit around those posters that we got with Cool Kitchen. And we don't have any that fit over those. So um, I paused after that and went like on a mini CC hunt, basically. And I tried to find... Um, if we had, if there were any, like, CC frames, like, CC empty frames, and there weren't, and I know you can, like, make CC, like, you can take a frame that's in-game already and turn it, like, put whatever you want in it, and that's cool and fine, and people have, um, people have tutorials on them and stuff, but, uh... There weren't any just, like, empty frames that you could put around stuff, which is basically how I wanted it. And I was actually really frustrated by that, um, but I just ended up putting something completely different there, so. I guess that's just how it goes. And, uh, we're back in the bedroom, and, um, like I said, this house is just colorful. Like, that's how I see bohemian is like colorful and I don't know if that's right or not I I very well could have looked up reference images but I just didn't and why didn't I I don't know um I'm just not that kind of person I guess so I need to rant about something um and I was gonna say pretty quickly but I don't I don't know if it's gonna be quick so my boyfriend and I go to Dollar Tree to get like snacks and um, also like some other like little random things that don't affect us. I, don't talk to me about quality. I know the quality there isn't good, but the snacks are fine. Um, and they've had help wanted signs up for like a while. So I went on the website and I applied because, you know, that's just 
that's what I need a job. Um, and it's like walkable distance from our house. So I figured I could walk there for like two, three weeks once I get money and then I could pay for a taxi, which is fine. <laughs> so I, I filled out this application like a week ago and I called today to check on the application because I usually check about like after a week, week and a half or whatever. And she was, the person I talked to was like, oh yeah, well we, uh, the manager isn't checking applications until the second week in February. I'm like, okay, okay, fine. Like talk to you later or like, thanks. Bye. And you have, you've had a help wanted sign up for at least a few weeks now. Why aren't you looking at applications until February? <laughs> I don't understand. I I don't I don't know. Like maybe it's like getting over like the holidays and like they want to get past Valentine's Day first. I don't know. It was very strange to me. I was like, "I'm sorry, what the fuck?" Like I don't I don't know. That's just a very weird thing to me. Another Sims related very weird thing. Um, the banister, well, not banister, the, uh, fence that I used, uh, to go around the decks that I made doesn't have a matching railing. And my, my mind can't comprehend why it doesn't have a matching railing because I, I don't understand it. And one of the other wood ones, uh, like wood, quote unquote, Fences doesn't from get together doesn't have one either. The only railing that we got with the Sims 4 get together was the glass modern one. And like I love the glass modern one, but like why don't we have matching railings for these other ones that we got? I'll I don't understand. On a good Sims 4 note though, uh with one of the most recent patches we did get the ability to use like books with bookends as actual bookshelves. So that's really cool. Um, so one of the books that I ended up, or one of the decorations, I guess, that I ended up placing on the side table in the living room can be used as a bookshelf, which is really cool. And not all of the like decorative kind of book looking objects are usable. Um, so the stack, you can't use the stack of books, the stack of magazines, um, and by stack of books, I mean the one that's under the table in the living room. You can't use that. You can't use the stack of magazines. Uh, this little like writing book that's on the side table here, you can't use. Um, but like a lot of them you can, and it's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> um, not that you would need to in this house because there is a bookshelf, but I just thought it was really cool. And um, actually, if you are confused as to which ones are and which ones aren't, uh, they did, like, change the... Or not change, they added them to the bookshelf category. So if you're curious, you can just go to the bookshelf category and they're there, which I think is an awesome inclusion. And along with uh, the, the books being used as bookshelves, you can also put TVs on a lot of the console tables now which is awesome and I'm so happy because I've been doing that and like raising them up and stuff um, for a while anyway. And we can also upgrade beds now. And I'm pretty sure there are like two or three beds you can't upgrade. I know you can't upgrade the toddler beds and I think, um, I can't remember, uh, but my friend Hip Hip Renee actually tested, quote unquote, this on her stream. Um, uh, because I, day of the patch, I was like, oh my god, Renee, 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 check out the patch stuff. And, uh, she did because she was playing a different game and I was like, oh my god, check this out. And she did, uh, and she tested it. I can't remember how many beds you can upgrade, but there, there are like three or something. It's not a, like you can upgrade most of them. So don't worry about that. And it was just a really cool patch in general. And, uh, lots of people are happy with it, but I don't quite understand why there are some that you can upgrade and some tables that you can't put your put your TVs on and stuff like that. It's kind of weird. Um, things are some of the things are very selective in a weird way, but it's it's still a a big jump forward, I guess, for the game and um, 
a good thing. I feel like I sound like a politician. I'm just like, yeah, this is bad, but also it's great. Um, but that's not how I mean it to be at all. I hope you, you all know that. Um, but we are getting pretty close to the end of the video. We're just doing the two decks that are on the outside. Uh, and then oh, we're gonna jump into some screenshots. I just added a picnic table grill and I believe a chess table on the back. And then I added a little bit of seating in the front and I think that's it. Um, but I can't quite remember. So I guess you'll have to just watch and find out. Um, but we are getting into screenshots very quickly. So I am going to leave this here and I will see you all in the next one. Bye friends. I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon, evening, or whatever, wherever you are in your neck of the world. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to become a pop parent because I post new videos all the time. And I will see you all in the next video. 